No. 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 Brandon. <gasps> Channing, it's just you. What was that? Oh, just a really poorly paced, written, edited, shot, and acted nightmare. Again? This is like the third one this week. What's happening to you, boyo? I don't know. It's like ever since Shadow Brandon showed up last time, it, it just messed with me. When was he ever called Shadow Brandon? It's what we called him in the script. What's his got on your mind? Well, it got me thinking about the current state of horror and how bad my first attempt at it was. And it got me thinking, is the slasher genre dead? All right. And what do you think? Well... Let's talk about it. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining me again for another Let's Talk, where it isn't a review, it's just a conversation. Now, as you can probably guess from the fact that I reviewed every single installment of the Friday the 13th franchise, I do really enjoy most of the movies in that, but I'm also just a fan of slashers in general. While horror is my number one favorite genre overall, there's so many different little facets and branches of horror and slasher is just one that is near and dear to my heart for some reason. Like, there's no real particular moment in my life that I can think back on and I'm like, oh, that's why I love slashers. There's just some weird, unique charm to them that I love and have just latched onto. But I was thinking recently, has the slasher genre died? Before we really get into what I think about that question. Let's get a little history on the slasher genre. Many people attribute Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho as the first slasher, and I feel like there is some real credence to that, but it didn't really kick off as a genre until the mid-1970s with movies like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Black Christmas. I feel like it can really be argued that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not a slasher, but that is a whole different conversation in and of itself. And then slashers really got mainstream attention and success with John Carpenter's smash Halloween. And there have been just countless revivals and reimaginings of the slasher genre from that point. You had Scream in the 90s, which was like this very meta and satirical look at the slasher genre. And then from there, you have slashers taking over from the Friday the 13th franchise going from 1980 to possibly them working on another one right now. But then again, they've been talking about making another one for years now, but <laughs> let's not get into that. But here recently, horror movies are not really slasher-centric. I mean, think of some of the most popular slasher movies from each decade. Let's go the 70s, you have movies like We'll Go Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or Halloween, 80s, it's Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Friday the 13th, what I call the big three. Those are the three that everybody thinks of whenever you say slasher. And then you also had Child's Play kind of bringing up the rear of the 80s and then going into the 90s where you had stuff like Scream. And then the 2000s happened. And while the 2000s were just a bad decade for horror movies in general, I would say, 
that's when things kind of started to drop off, I would think. Because as you get into the latter half of the 2000s and then early 2010s, that's when we hit the reboots. You have just this insane web of whatever they have done to the Texas Chainsaw franchise. You have the Nightmare on Elm Street reboot. You have the Friday the 13th reboot. Right now, they're working on a Child's Play reboot. Scream 4, while it's technically a sequel, going by how they did the movies and the first one, this is what happens in a horror movie. This is what happens in a sequel. This is what happens in the ending of a trilogy. Scream 4 is, this is what happens in a horror movie remake. So we've kind of hit a wall as far as mainstream slasher films go. It's all reboots or sequels. I mean, this following October, we just had another Halloween sequel. Did we need that? Not really. It was cool to see, just like it, it's going to be cool whenever they release another Friday the 13th, but it's just, it's all the same franchise. It's not anything new. And that is why I started asking myself, is the slasher genre dead? On the one hand, yeah, kinda. Because in the mainstream, in Hollywood, whenever you go to the theater to see a slasher, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be a sequel or a reboot of something from the 80s or the 90s. Even on television, Scream got turned into a TV show on MTV. And granted, I didn't even finish the first season, but what I saw was actually kind of good but it's still pulling from existing material. It's going off of the Scream name. No, you're not following the characters from the films, but it's still Scream. If I had to sit here and think really hard about like the newest slasher film I saw in theaters that wasn't a, like a reboot or a sequel, I, I, I honestly can't think of anything. I'm sure there has been, but it's so it's so rare of a thing that I can't even remember it. So in the mainstream public eye, yeah, the slasher craze is officially dead. And that kind of breaks my heart because like I said, those big three, I love those franchise. okay. I love one of the franchises. The other one is pretty good, but has some really dumb moments. And then the third one, I haven't seen all of them. Whoops. But that's where slashers are when it comes to Hollywood. That is not what sells unless it is attached to a pre-existing franchise. People don't want guys in masks running around and killing teenagers. They want spooky ghosts. That's why we're getting another freaking Annabelle movie. And you know, this one is going to be the coming together of the entire Conjuring universe. But let's be real, what it's gonna be, it, it's, it's gonna be shit. Let's be real, it, it's gonna be shit. So that's on the one hand. When it comes to Hollywood, the slasher is dead. But on the other hand, I really don't think it is because yeah, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and say, you know what? There is a slasher franchise that kicked itself off here recently. Happy Death Day. Yeah, it's, it's a horror comedy, sure, but it's a guy running around in a mask, killing people. This is a slasher. This is, at its base, what a slasher is. It's corny. It's goofy. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And it's teenagers. Granted, they're, you know, college students, but teenagers go to college. Yeah, Happy Death Day is a new Slash it. This is the new slasher franchise. I didn't see the second one though, so I don't 
I don't know how different it is from the first one, but from the first one, I can tell you that that's exactly what it is. And let's not forget Hellfest, which came out in 2018, which is honestly the movie that kicked off this whole idea. I just forgot to bring it up. Whoops. And you know what? Where did Slashers begin? I mean, really think about it. Slashers did not begin in cinema. They did not begin in film theater. They did not begin in Hollywood. Where did they begin? They began in B-grade, you know, discount bin movie. Like, you would have to search to find these movies. And a lot of them, like, even the pioneers of the Slasher franchise, if you were to walk up to somebody and be like, hey, have you ever seen Black Christmas? They would immediately just go, I didn't know Tyler Perry made a new Christmas movie. And while I've never seen the infamous Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, and it's oh-so-memeable quote... Garbage Day! Huh? No! I have seen Silent Night, Deadly Night 1, and it's a ridiculous movie about a guy who dresses up as Santa and kills people. But despite the fact that when that movie came out, it, like, sparked outrage and protests if i were to walk up to somebody and say have you seen silent night deadly night the average person would not know what i'm talking about so what does that mean for right now well <laughs> it means that slashers are back out of the mainstream public eye Go on to Netflix. I can guarantee you, you will find slasher movies. Go on to YouTube. I can 100% guarantee that you will find people making slasher content. For on YouTube, the main reason I can 100% guarantee that is because I made slasher content. My friends over at Good Shag Productions a couple of years ago for Halloween made a short slasher film. My friend has a brilliant idea for a slasher that while yes it is technically based on pre-existing material it's an angle that I haven't seen anyone do yet hell on Netflix there is a series called slasher so it's very obvious that the love of the slasher subgenre is definitely not dead if I had to word it any other way it would be that the slasher genre is going back where it belongs. We had a great run of decades of slasher films. We had high highs and we had low lows. But that is not what the slasher genre is meant to be. The slasher genre in mainstream media, let's be real, was a fad. Just like the gore porn of the Saw movies after the first one, or Hostel. These things were fads and horror because these things are exploitation in its heart, in its soul. These kinds of movies are exploitation films. And exploitation films are not exactly meant to be viewer friendly. So, no, the slasher genre is not dead. It's just back where it belongs in the hands of people who love the exploitation style of filmmaking and then they put it out and do the best they can with it. Some of it is going to be absolute garbage, like what I made. Some of it is going to be made as well as it possibly could, like what Good Shag Productions did. And some of it, who knows, it might even kick off a revival of the slasher genre in Hollywood. But as for whether right now it is dead, I will say in Hollywood, yes. But where it matters, in the hearts, of horror fans, the slasher subgenre is 100% still alive. And I am 
so thankful for that. Before I sign off and with all this talk of my friends over at Good Shag Productions, don't forget to go subscribe to them so that you can check out whenever their new project comes out on May 3rd called InfoWars Part 2 The Redneck featuring me. All right, guys, like I said, let's talk as a conversation. So what do you think? Is the slasher genre dead and gone? Do you think it should be? Or do you think it's back where it belongs, it's safe, sound, and loved in the hands of creators that actually give a damn? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment down below. Don't forget to check out my social media. The links to all of that will be down in the description. And while you're doing all of that, don't forget to hit my like and the subscribe so that I can see you guys next time.